All right, let's learn a little bit about palms now. So palms are not trees, you guys. They're, they're technically they're trees in the sense that they get tall, um, but they, they don't have the same development of tissue that a deciduous tree like an oak or a coniferous tree like a pine would have. And so what that means is essentially, instead of having layer after layer of where around the trunk it just grows out and out, and that's what gives it the rings. Really, you've got just this one primary structure throughout the entire tree's life. The reason they get fatter and bigger in diameter is not because they're adding material, it's because the cells are enlarging, it's like fat trees. And so what we've got here, uh, what one thing that that means is essentially the tree doesn't have the ability to seal wounds like a like an oak or a pine would. And so whenever you get little diseases, little uh, infection marks or little gaff marks like the guys do, they climb these trees with these big pointed uh, pointed spikes on their feet. And what those do is they create permanent wounds. Now this this tree will never be able to seal this wound. It's just not going to happen. And so essentially that'll be a, a, just a, a straight entry point for disease, infection, things like that. A uh, common one that we see is Ganoderma in palms. And so uh, what Ganoderma does is it consumes that, that, the cellulose and the lignans and it decays that woody tissue. And so that, that structural tissue. And so whenever that happens, since the tree doesn't have the ability to seal it, you've essentially got a ticking time bomb where eventually that's going to take over. And it may be 50 years down the road if the tree's doing well health-wise and suppressing the fungus other ways. But for the most part, once you get a, an open wound like this on a palm, you really got to start planning for the future and considering maybe this tree's not going to be there very long. So hope that helps. Um, palms aren't trees, you guys. They're monocotyledons. Uh, they're not dicotyledons like your oaks and your your uh, people ask me what kind of palm to plant in houston texas i'm like you got live oaks you got burr oaks you got cedar elms you got sycamores you got bald cypress there's so many great trees to plant here palms ain't one of them it's not tropical so when we get those hard freezes they just they don't do well so hope that helps thanks for watching follow for more great tree tips